Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with the uh, update. So if I click in the edit, here we navigate to the edit page. We have a form. We need to change this update. And of course, if we if we go in the table plus in the post table, we have title body and we have this is published. By default is zero, but I'm going to add that here to change if we need to change that. So let's go in the VS Code and open the Edit Blade. And after the body, I'm going to add a div with the class margin2 and padding2. And inside here, add the label for published. And after the label, I'm going to add the input with type to be checkbox. I'm going to give it the name to be is published and the value is going to be is published as well. Now here I'm going to add the blade directive checked. And if this is checked, we add the old helper method for is published. And here by default, I'm going to add the post is published. Let's close this input and save it. Come here and refresh. And yeah, here it is, it's published. Let's change also the button to say update. And maybe I'm going to add the class on the hover. So when you hover it, I'm going to say BG Indigo 700 text is going to be white. And I'm going to add some rounded corners. Save it and come here, refresh. And we see the update here and on hover it's going to change a little bit. Okay, now if I click here, nothing happened. So let's go to the post. Because in the post controller, so if I go in the post controller, in the update method, we don't have not, nothing logic here. So let's work with that. Here we can see we have the request and the ID. We need the ID to get the post and in the edit also we have the ID here and we say post post finder field ID. So we can do this as well in the update or a better way is to inject here the post and say dollar sign post and use the road model binding and Laravel is going to do this behind the scenes for us. So if I remove this and if I save and go back, refresh. Now let's go and click the edit and it's going to work as well. Okay, but we have more clean method and I'm going to do the same thing for the update method. So let's say post dollar sign post. Okay, for the request, I'm going to use the request we have for post store request. So let's say post store request. And now to update the post, we can say dollar sign post call the update method and say the request validated. Now the validated is going to return to us only the validated data. So here we have the title and the body. Okay. And also let's copy this line of code here. After we update, I'm going to return to the post index road. And say 
the post updated successfully. Okay, refresh and let's say here the new post updated. Click update. We have the method the post updated successfully and uh, new post updated here okay first i'm going to change this uh, so let's go inside the components mind layout here we have text screen 400 but i'm going to say text screen 800 okay now let's remove again the updated here and click update again and now yeah we have more good the post updated successfully and we have only the new post okay but i want the change also the is published because right now it's published it's not changed and so let's go to the first one and if i click here refresh yeah nothing happened to the is published because we in the post controller we just say in here the request update the request validated and the request validated has only the title and the body now for the is published i'm going to say dollar sign published here create a new variable and i'm going to instantiate that with zero and after that i'm going to say if the request has now if the request has the is published i'm going to change this is pub, the published variable to one okay uh, so let's do first die and dump the request is published and if i save come here and refresh go to the edit if i check this published click update we see the is published if i uncheck and click update we see null so for that here in the controller i check if the request has the is published so it's mean if we if the request has is published it's not null and this is checked so if we have that i'm going to change the publish to one and call the update request validated and also plus the is published is going to be what the published variable is let's save it and go in the browser uh, remove the die and dump that i forgot let's remove the die and dump let's save it go to the browser refresh title post is published i'm going to say and also check the published here click update we have the post updated successfully first post is published and if i come here and refresh the is published is one good let's go and see if we can send back to zero so let's say zero here click update now the post updated successfully and if i refresh again yeah we send back to zero do the same thing again refresh back to one if i remove now that it's published and say update come here and refresh that is published remain in one okay friends that's it for this video how we can update the post and also change the published dependent in the 
checkbox here. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.